Hey guys, it's uh, Wayne with Family Acreage Farms. We are getting our llama and nine ewes. Uh, tomorrow we're picking, oh no, tomorrow we're, tomorrow we're going towards the San Angelo area, picking them up and uh, the sheep we're getting in Lukenbach, the llamas in San Angelo. And uh, we're gonna put them in here. This is our catch pen. So come look and look, look and see what we did here with the catch pen. So <clears throat> if you look here, <laughs> this is all kind of uh, kind of conjangled here. But so I put just these glass uh, insulators on this here, and uh, and of course that and so this is a glass insulator, this glass insulator, and this glass insulator. I didn't obviously need that one, but what I did was I this is all one spool wire. And so I put the reel on the other end and I wove it through here. And then I also put this wire here. This wire here is just our, our, our cheapy wire we get at Tractor Supply that we use to, to split our paddocks into like thirds. Uh, so they're trapped inside there, but we use this and they trust it a lot. But I just want the cheap to, I don't know if they're colorblind, if I believe that crap or not. So, so. Hopefully I see this. Maybe it has a different type of energy. You never know. And then we also have just some regular baling wire up here. This is to keep the llama off of the hay. Now you can see there's hay here. And I'm fine with that hay being here because I want them to reach through here and get shocked. Because we're training them. Right now we're going to hold them in here for about a week. And we're going to train them to realize that these things hurt. So we got to get it in their head that this is going to blast them. This is going to be running about 9 to 10 kilojoules, kilovolts, whatever you call them. And, it's gonna, and it will light them up. And they're going to be stuck out in this area for about a week. We'll bring them hay. We'll throw them some uh, alfalfa pellets. And when I feed them, I'm going to feed them right along this thing. So they have to go over there to pile up on top of each other, and they're going to get shot. Their water, their water's right here. They'll be able to drink, but hopefully their nose, while it's wet, touches that. And then they get blasted by it. We want them to realize this hurts. And hopefully, eventually, we can drop down to two or one line. Greg Judy does one line 15 inches off the ground. But Greg Judy said also, anytime a sheep would jump out, they ate it. I can't afford to eat them. I can afford to sell them, but I really, I got nine ewes. I can't afford to sell them. I'd have to go buy some more. They, these guys are pretty expensive. We're going to have royal whites. So uh, they'll be here. I think they're about, they'll be a year to 10 months in December, I think is where it's going to be. And so this is what, they'll have all this here. Um, and there's, a, there's this is where the rest of the fence is. You can see I use lock jaws. These things are awesome. Uh, you can go around the fence. They hold on to the fence at any angle. So uh, you can go around the fence without grounding it out. And so once again, you can see all that's here. I might put another piece of baling wire up here along this area just to have it. These lock jaws, see, they're holding it like this now. So they got that clip on there, and they're holding it up against there. These things are great. It's really great for holding it on the T-post. Here's our other lock jaw here. And this here is where I have our reel. So that's what I did. I hung the reel off of here. I just went down. I wound it around that uh, glass insulator, and I came back this way, went through all these, came back, and went down that glass insulator, and came back, just kept on going back and forth, and I wound it, and that's one spool. It does get pretty darn tight by the end, though. And so you can see all my glass insulator, pop, 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 just like that. And so this is only for the training of the, of the, of the, of the sheep. They make something called a Gallagher Mini that I'm thinking about getting, but it's only like 300 feet long. That's like, I don't even know, what is that? I don't even, maybe a third of an acre? So if it's a third of an acre, that ain't enough, because I do an acre at a time, and then I split that into thirds. And I would really love something like a big boy one that I could go, but that would have to be the power pole that they use from PowerFlex. So I, I'll probably buy one of those, but that Mini Gallagher would be awesome, because you could stretch it right, I don't even think, it's, it's barely 300 feet in that thing. That's so small. Uh, but it'll work, but it's, it's like 400 bucks. Um, I need to sell a lot of sheep <laughs> to do that, or at least one sheep, or I think. Make, or make something. Yep. So I, well, I'm thinking about inventing some, but this is how we're doing it. This is going to keep them in. This is going to keep teach them how to get shocked. Like I said, I'm going to feed, I might feed them along this line here and that line over there and just let them wrestle for the food and get shocked. That way they learn that this hurts. Uh, the llama and nine ewes, and that llama is supposed to protect them. She's scary looking to the coyotes. Uh, and dogs, they're, they're not used to seeing that. And she, they make some weird bleeding sound or blah, sound like that. And uh, it scares them too. And of course, we're going to have them with the calves as well. At least two calves. So uh, that'll be happening soon. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow to go get them. What is today? Wednesday. Wednesday the 19th. So we're leaving the 20th and we're going to pick them up the 21st, Friday. 
and we'll be back here sometime i'm guessing that afternoon with all of them unload them here baby them up a little bit we're running the water right now making sure that's going to be full and, and, and ready for them and like i said it's shocky time they got to learn it's all in their head you have to have a high voltage because right now my calves out there i went out there and a pole something had knocked the pole down it, wasn't, it might have been a deer or something hit the line and it snapped the pole and that that pole's laying on the ground the wires laying on the ground the calves are standing there bellowing to go into the next paddock because they don't they don't want to get shot they've been hit with they, they got nailed by this too many times so that that line has to sometimes they come out there and it's touching the ground they don't care they don't want to touch it so make sure your line stays hot for a long time and get in their head it's, it's a very psychological thing if they ever get a chance to break through i honestly you might as well get rid of them just like greg judy does because it's it's all psychological because if you hit that thing a few times and you see it ah, it hurts but i can get through it and i live through it they're gonna do it that's what we have some friends that have pigs you know we have and sheep i mean people let it happen all the time you just can't let that happen all right well thank y'all for watching please uh share this like subscribe and follow us for these sheep we're really excited to get them moving